Welcome to Red Tech Media's Inside Web Secrets. I'm your host, John Maybrook, and today we're going to be talking about adding images into your blog posts. As you can see, we have our dashboard up within WordPress. I use a customized version of WordPress, which I purchased the template through Studio Press. They have excellent templates and themes that you can choose from, and that's why my dashboard might look slightly different than yours, but essentially it's the same dashboard so you can follow along. We're going to be going into the post section here on the left and adding new, and we're just going to be picking a sample post. I'll call it test birthday post, and we'll just pick a sample category and tag tags and categories are used for search engine optimization which is very important we'll talk about that in another episode we'll just choose a sample tag called browser and a sample category called reviews and I already have some sample text which I just copied out of a article just for example purposes here and we'll just paste it directly into our text body make it very simple just a couple paragraphs you're basically done you can even preview it from here it looks pretty plain that's why you want to add that image or multiple images at least have one in the upper left hand corner or right justified if you prefer to really enhance the article and draw your readers in to make them want to read more. So we'll go back into the edit and you can see how the post is left. In this case we're going to put the cursor and click it where we want it to add that image. Here we click the add an image icon. It'll bring up this window. I've downloaded a sample picture a birthday picture in this case onto my computer we're just going to select it from the desktop it'll upload it directly into WordPress and then you'll see it come up into the image editor from here you can keep things simple by just making a few changes you can see the picture and its dimensions but the actual dimensions that you're going to insert into this post anyway will be the thumbnail size 150 by 150 unless you have a special need for maybe a larger picture or even the full size picture but to really just give a quick taste of what the article is going to be about and a nice visual representation a thumbnail of 150 to 150 is is just right I'll customize the title and the alternate text and alternate text is used for uh, visually impaired web browsing and keeping the standards of the HTML standard. Alternate text is not required, but certainly appreciated by people who have that visual impairment. Captions and descriptions are not required, but again, can be helpful for search engine optimization. Today, we'll leave them blank. And the link URL, at least for this picture, when you're putting it into a post like that, you want to make sure that's blank as well. You don't need a clickable picture just for a small picture like this. Again, just confirm that the thumbnail size is selected. Also confirm that the justification is going to be on the left, or the alignment is left of the actual text, and then click Insert into Post. You can see it's put in, but it's a little bit crunched or too close to the text so what you want to do from here is actually click on the picture and click on this icon here to edit the image from here you want to click over to advanced settings and make a horizontal space you actually have to define the amount of pixels that you want for the horizontal space in this case I'll do seven I found that seven pixels is pretty ideal and then click outside of that and you can see it come up on the top screen here this is just the preview as long as you're happy with that you can just update and see that the picture has been updated and it has a nice 
amount of space between the picture and the text and from there you can publish you'll see it's ready to go in a minute it'll come up with the notification at the top here and there you see the post is published you can view the post and you'll see that it's ready to go inside your blog looks great has the image there's that alternate text coming up on the yellow that says birthday and you can see it works really well inside of your blog that's how you add an image into WordPress into your blog and for more great tutorials we'll be coming back next week for Red Tech Media's Inside Web Secrets I'm John Maybrook and we'll talk to you soon